G'day guys and welcome back to the Hillman Show. We are finally opening some cards. I know you guys have been frothing it, so here we are. Yesterday, Evolving Skies was released. We are not opening Evolving Skies today. Uh, we are keeping this one sealed, and I've got to order in some cards to open. But, in our PO box from the Trav, from a fan, we received a three-pack Chilling Rain Blister. We're going to hunt for the birds. A double blister here from Peninsula Trading Cards, which has a Darkness Ablaze Sword and Shield. We have another blister down there, which is a Battle Styles one, which we'll go through. And then we'll have a look at the Marnie Collection Box and some stuff I'll receive in the post. Let's get it going. Righto, guys. We'll open up the few things, and then uh, we'll have a look at the Marnie Collection Box and the a couple of cards I got in the mail. So first off, we're going to open up the... Double pack blister. These were seven dollars at Kmart or Target, and everyone was just buying them crazy because it's what three dollars fifty a booster. Absolute bargain. Shouldn't even open this. It's probably a collector's piece, but you get a Darkness Ablaze and a Sword and Shield base. Now, obviously, there's that Charizard in there. Well, not in this pack specifically, but there is a chance. Couch Cam is on. Couch Cam is on. So uh, always that chance to slap the booty hole. Has anyone got Evolving Skies yet? I haven't really as of yet because, you know, I don't, I'm not a massive fan of the set. Obviously, there's some Eevees and etc. But, you know, other than that, I'm not too excited. I'm not a massive Eevee fan. So, Reboots there. Pseudo Widow. Feels good to open cards. Can we slap our ass today? So, Land It. Galarian Ponyta. Very nice coloring. Minchino. Crow Gunk. And a Hollow Boltun to start us off. We've got a Hollow. Pretty boring. Would that be the only hit in this pack? Darkness Ablaze next. Oh, code card on the ground. Can we pull our second Zard? We can only wish. So you might need these cards because I am collecting the set of uh, Darkness Ablaze. It's been a while. Teddy Eartha. I used to say Teddy Eartha, but it's Teddy Eartha. Wishy washy, Q fan. You know, tick and a rare. Uh, oh, okay. A Sizer V Max. Very nice. Do have it already, I'm pretty sure. I'll double check, but very nice to get the pull there. Okay. Moving on. Three pack blister time. Let's crack into it. Alright, you're going to get a coin, which I believe, if I can find the front, is Rayquaza. Right there. Not bad. You get a promo card of Snorlax Single Strike. Any swirls in this one? No. Still, you know, not a bad. Not a bad. Promo card. I am recording audio, aren't I? Yep. And three blister packs. So we're going to chase the glaring birds. Uh, obviously, an alternate art would be ideal for me. I have ordered the uh, Galarian Articuno alternate art. Damn, it's green code. But there have been hits in green codes. I have ordered the Galarian Articuno alternate art in Japanese. I got it for a bloody good price, so that will be here soon. Galarian Slowpoke, Snova, Venipede, Snorunt. Can still get a V in this. Spiral Energy of Justice. And a Scolipede. So the code card was... Jeez, these packs are these packs are horrendous. This feels so thin. Right, put that down below. Not oh, what am I absolutely? What am I doing? Don't think I saw anything. All right, we've got an energy haunter, Clara, Flaffy, Weedle. Haven't opened a whole lot of this. Obviously, I've just sort of stopped opening cards in general. Heracross, Reverse Snorunt, and a s double up. Scolipede again. Bloody hell. Um, and then we've got Evolving Skies, which, you know, I don't know how much of that I'm even going to open. So, it's all good. I'll tell you what, though. I have opened a few things off camera, and every time I've pulled a Rainbow Rare or something ridiculous. So, Justify Gloves of Justice. Diglett, Score Bunny pushing a Snowball. Squovet, Inkay. Reverse NK Illuminati and a Spiritom. We've just gone to crap. Give me a sec. Alright, we're going to crack this open, I reckon. I've already opened one before. It has one of the best promo cards I've seen in a long time on this. 
Alright, I've got a Mew coin. We'll add that to collection. Very nice. Sort of rainbow pink effect. I do like that one a lot. And this is the promo that I believe is one of the best looking promos for a while. Look at that Charmander. Just the, the sporadic spray that's in... Oh, my phone's falling. Just the sporadic spray in the hollow pattern right there. Just fix my camera, and yeah, you get one pack. So the last time I opened this exact blister, I pulled a Rainbow Rare uh, Single Strike Mustard, I believe it was. Not looking at the code. Four from the back. What is our luck today? Probably not very good, but we'll see. Luxio, Weeping Bell, Indeedy, Lickitung, Electabuzz, Esper, Timber, Galarian, Slowpoke, Vervillian, and a Drampa regular rare. And this is probably why I haven't been opening cards for this reason. But on that note, we're going to have a look at a few things that came in the mail. The first one is a Galarian Articuno V. You would have seen this on Midweek Mail. I've got the Japanese one, but I ended up getting the English one as well. Look at that. Very nice looking card. And in a claim sale or a bid, I think I got it for a pretty cheap. This is a Koro Koro out of a Japanese magazine. Uh, what, Erica's Bulbasaur or something? Very nice. Jim, Jim uh, Heroes card, Japanese. Bit of whiting on the edges. But other than that, is it is quite... It's never been released in English, this artwork. So it is it is quite nice. And to finish it off, which unfortunately, guys, we will not be opening, but we got the Marnie Premium Tournament Collection Box. This is a milk carton, essentially. Uh, you get a one full art foil supporter card, which I'll flash on the screen. It is very nice. The card alone is selling for like $100. I bought the box for $150. Uh, you get three additional supporter cards where it's hollow and it's signed by Marnie. 65 card sleeve, you know, sleeves, a deck box a coin and then you get seven booster packs in here it's actually quite it was an america exclusive so supposedly it's not being released in australia but high chance it will come to eb games or something we're going to go a quick recap on today's video we've got the charmander promo nice snorlax promo so our big hits on promo sizer vmax sizzle sizer whatever another hollow boltund and that is it for today guys so Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. If you haven't checked out the Krispy Kreme donut video where we checked out the donuts, I'll link it at the end, so stay to the end and have a look. And uh, remember, take it easy. If it's easy, take it home.